What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I received a package today. It's an early birthday present from my wife and my mom and from myself. It, was, it took all three of us to purchase this thing. It's a uh, moonshine rod. So the package came today. Um, it's my brother's birthday today too. So happy birthday Colby. Hope you're having a great time out in Prague. He's actually visiting some small town in, uh, in the Czech Republic today with his girlfriend Oli. So hopefully they're having a great time. Anyway, I digress. Here is box moonshine rod company now it says fragile on the package I don't know if you guys can tell but it looks like UPS didn't read the fine print here saying hey I'm fragile so anyway I'm gonna open up this box I'll show you guys what came in it and then uh, we're heading up to Campbell River today and I'm gonna try it out so anyway here you go So I got some cool shit here guys. I'm so stoked, I can't even tell you. I haven't had a new fly rod in a really, really long time and I've been following moonshine rods for years now, probably four years before the pandemic started. So anyway, they have a rod that I really wanna get in the future that is, um, it's called the Midnight Special. They're completely customizable, super awesome burls that are all stained preferable color. They're one of a kind rods. I can't afford that currently because they're 579 American. This rod comes in at 199 American. So this whole setup here costs me 627 bucks. So the cool thing about moonshine rods is when you order one, there's a few different kinds, but they give you a case. Inside the case, you get your rod, which this is super cool. This one's called the Drifter. Got a nice burl, fighting butt. So that's super cool. But yeah, inside of this case, they actually give you two tips, which is really wicked because not every rod company comes with two tips. So when you order it, it'll come with a spare just in case because they know that sometimes shit happens when you're out on the river. Um, and it, they're super nice looking like you'll have a hard time seeing it maybe on the camera here, but they're really nice looking. Focus. Now you can probably see it. They're kind of popper, right? So that's super cool. Two tips, super stoked on that. Can't wait to get out onto the river and give this thing a shot. So that's really rad. That's only one of the things that I got. The other couple things that I got are, I got the Moonshine Pre, which is uh, actually, I guess I should show you the box this way. This is a reel, super nice reel, it looks like. Now, I haven't had a brand new reel, a good, like decent fly reel, like ever. Well, that's not true. My, my friend Chris Sobey's father, gave me a reel one time when I lost mine in a lake. I was pretty young though, I was like 17. So it comes with a case, protective, um, really, really cool, and just a beautiful, beautiful reel. I'm so excited to use this. So that's what it looks like. And apparently this material actually gets a little bit kind of sticky when it's wet, so that's really neat. Just really, really nicely made. Got a good click to it, I like that. Can't wait. You can get spools and all kinds of stuff for these guys as well, so anyway. This is gonna be really cool on the river. Can't wait to get that out and start using it. And last but not least, because I ordered when I ordered, they gave me a 10% discount on the whole thing, which is awesome, especially because it was more expensive since I live in Canada and I'm not American. American money is worth a lot more than ours. But they sent me a water bottle. 
for free. They took 30 bucks off, so now I have a moonshine water bottle for while I'm out there. Really cool, I like the top, I like the color. It's just wicked, so. Thank you to Moonshine Rods, can't wait to use this stuff. I will do a review on all of this and we're gonna test it out on some big salmon tonight at Campbell River, so anyway. Before I go any further though, 71% of you guys that watch our videos are not subscribed to the channel. Do me a huge solid, if you wouldn't mind, it only takes a second. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We're doing videos every day of the week, pretty much. We rarely miss a day, so if you subscribe, you'll get notified every time that we have a video. I'm doing lots of fishing vlogs, whether that be on the boat or fly fishing, so tons of this stuff to come, music content, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, we will see you guys on the river tonight. What's up guys? Okay, so I'm back at the Campbell River with Tim. He's already gone down there. He's uh, he's fishing. I was just setting up a new leader on my brand spanking new Moonshine Drifter with the Moonshine Creed reel. So I'm gonna put that all together down there. I'm gonna try and get into some fish. You guys will see what happens and uh, there's more fish tomorrow. We're only gonna be here for a couple hours. So I just wanna give this baby a shot, try and catch a couple pinks on it and see what happens. Anyway, see you in a bit. So, back on the Campbell, fishing my new rod. There's trout, chinooks, and pinks all chilling around us. So hopefully we'll get into something here. This thing casts really well. Definitely heavier than my six weight though, I can tell already. It's just got a little bit more weight to it. But I wanna see how it handles a fish because that's what's important. This thing casts like a dream got a lot more action than my temple fork does but my temple forks a pretty cheap rod and I got it second hand the real seat on it's actually kind of shitty now so I'm stoked to see what happens with this thing nice cast so I like it already. All right, I just hooked my first fish with my brand new Moonshine Drifter 2. So I'm just gonna get it up on the reel now. It's kinda nice, you know? I've hooked a fish with my brand new line, my brand new reel, my brand new rod. I'm gonna have to come downstream a little bit to get this fucking idiot though. Because it's struggling. I think I got it foul hooked, which is pretty common in here. It looks like it's a female fin hooked. Come on up here, fish. I don't want to hurt you. Told you guys, it's super common to foul hook these fucking idiots, which is too bad. But that's just the way it goes with these guys. Come here. Yeah, hooked right in the fin. It's a good fish though. Checking me out, doing its thing. I'll let her go. And there she got. So, first salmon with my brand new Moonshine Drifter 2. Fucking sweet. And Tim's into a fish upstream there. So that's cool. That's actually not bad this fish all right so verdict love it can't wait to go back out tomorrow and use it some more I caught four salmon today you'll see it on the GoPro footage the thing handles really well roll casting super nice there's a lot of action in it so it's a medium action rod but it's it's got way more action than my temple fork does like I it's pretty effortless to get the line out there I got a brand new sink tip line and that's doing its job too so all in all I'm super stoked with my my new drifter 2 moonshine ride or moonshine uh moonshine rod setup it's awesome so anyway we'll see you tomorrow for more fishing 
So this dumb fish took the egg. It's pretty mad. Scaring all the other fish. This is way lighter colored than the other ones though. Like this is fighting more like a rainbow. Even though it's not jumping up. Fire yourself out, bud. This is a, I, that's a cutty maybe, dude. No, oh no, it is a pink. It's yeah, just a small pink. little piece of shit. They fucking look like rainbows. This is really beautiful. Give me my fucking shit back. Yeah, I'm not even trying to go for them. I'm trying to get get another species entirely. But they keep foul hooking on my shit. All right, fucking chill. Give me my egg back, you fucker. Give me my egg back. Yes, come closer to me, fish. Come closer. Come now, fish. Come now. Come now, fish. Come now, fish. Come here, the Phineas. All right, chill. Hey, chill, chill. All right, beat yourself. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I hate you. Wicked. Let's just grab some rotten fucking fish. Cool. Do you guys see that? Those three sockeye right at the end of my rod tip there. Just hanging out. Probably hard to make out on the GoPro, but they're the bright red ones. Pretty cool. These salmon will eat anything. Like I have a little tiny black nymph on that they have no business biting whatsoever, and they'll take it. I'm actually trying to fish for trout, like I, that's what I want to go for, but like, dude, I'm, I'm getting fucking pinks every cast, and I don't want them at all. Like, this is fun fishing, don't get me wrong, I quite enjoy fishing for these fucking things, but I'm not, I'm not intentionally trying to get salmon anymore. I've caught about a hundred of them in the last two weekends and while that's great I really want to catch a coastal cutthroat or a rainbow. You know I'm used to cutties and rainbows being from Alberta and not that I have anything against salmon but like I just I really want to catch a trout because they're a little bit more challenging right they're an elusive fish. If you spook them they're you know they're just harder to get. And there's less in the river, so it's a little bit more of a challenge. But don't get me wrong, salmon fishing's awesome, if that's what you want to get. But when that's all you're getting, and you're trying for something else, it's frustrating. We're not the only ones fishing over here, you see that? Hungry black bear. You stay over there, bear! Fuck off! These are my fish! 
I don't know if you can see them in there. There's a black bear looking right at me. Right in those bushes, straight in there. You see him? Here's Kyle fishing for black bears. He's gonna get you, Kyle. He'll fucking get you, buddy. This is what Kyle looks like when he sees a bear. Say cheese, Kyle. 